so happy Easter to all. Today we are celebrating a day which is a very, very important, absolutely most important, we can say, day when such a great happening people. And it had to take place that way. It was all in a way destined. In my last lectures, I have told you how Christ was created first in the heavens, in the Devi Mahatma, if you read that, he was created as Mahavishnu and is mentioned very clearly that first he was created as an egg. It is written in this book, which perhaps was written about 14,000 years back. It's a book that predicts about Christ. And that is why people in the West, especially, <coughs> offer an egg to each other as a friend. The first existence came on this earth as an egg that was Christ, and part of it was kept in that state, and the rest of it was used by the Holy Ghost, by Mahalakshmi, to create Christ out. <coughs> In that ancient book, he was called as Mahavishnu. He is the greater form of Vishnu. But actually, Vishnu is the father. And he is the son created by the Holy Ghost. After my lecture, I would like, if you have the book, to read it out to them, the whole text of how Christ was created. And when he was created. He cried for his father. As he cried also on the cross. And he cried for years. And then cried in Mahavishnu state, was blessed by his father who said that your position will be placed higher than mine and you will be the Adhara, means the support of the universe. See how from Muladhara he becomes the Adhara. This was all done at the heavenly stage, by Kuntha stage. <coughs> then he was given birth by the Holy Ghost, who was the mother of Christ on this earth, who was nobody else but was the incarnation of Mahalakshmi, means she was Radha. Radha. Dha means energy, Dha means the one who sustains energy. There are many aspects of Eastern one has to understand. But the most of all is why did he die and why was he resurrected? This point I have not yet touched, perhaps so clearly. That's the point I want to tell you today. It's only you people can understand the importance of the life of Christ. And when it is said that you have to get your realization through Christ, it means 
that he had to pierce through the archangel. He had to be there. If he had not created this gap in the gate, we could never have got realization. That is why it is said that you are to pass through the gates of heaven only with the grace of Christ. Of course, that doesn't mean churches. It doesn't mean at all churches. That you understand as Sahaja Yogis, that you have to pass through the Agya Chakra ultimately. That's the most difficult point where human beings have to pass. Because at the Agya Chakra, your ego and superego are fully grown. At the human stage, only this ego is done. Now, how to overcome the ego was a point. And to overcome the ego, Christ had to do. When he was created in the beginning as Shri Ganesha, you know the story how he was created. That the mala is the, from the body of Parvati, the Holy Ghost, was taken out because before her marriage, she was, <coughs> she had to cover herself for her bath with many scented things. And it was taken out, all these things. And her vibrations came out. And she created this child just to protect her chastity outside her bathroom, she put. And you know the whole story about it. Now, there was a part of the element of the earth in that child, Prithvi Tata, was there. All other centers, all other centers have got some elements in them. Some elements like Prithvi Tattva is there, earth element, then you have got water element, then you have got air element, and when you come to this, it is the light element, it is the light. And at this point, at Agya Chakra, he had to cross the last element, that was the light. That means he had to come out into the true form of only the Divine Power, the Omkara the vibrations, you can call it, or the absolute, call it Logos or something like that, the first sound, Brahma. So he had to become the principle of Brahma. To become the principle of Brahma, he had to get rid of all other elements within him. So the last was also the light which he had to cross. So he had earth element in him as he was of the mala and all other elements with him. But when it comes to the Agya, he had to give up all the elements that he had to die, the death of all these elements that were within him to become complete, absolutely pure spirit. What he did on subtle form works out on the gross form. And to do that, he had to die. And whatever died in him was that little element of earth element and other elements. And what came out of him was pure spirit. Just move forward. Was pure spirit. That was resonant. The pure spirit the pure Brahma Tattva, which had formed the body of Christ, which was the body of Christ. And this happening came, Christ has done 
what was predicted about him. That he is a savior because he passed through that gate to take people from this bodily existence, means that with the one that depends on the elements to that existence which is spirit. So the resurrection is where you become from your attention, you jump into the attention of the spirit. When you feel your attention, when you become the spirit, that is the happening which has happened to you also. But he became pure spirit, pure Brahmatma when he was resurrected. And the resurrection is a happening of the divine power which came from Muladhara Chakra as just our element started growing. It took its birth from there, came up to Agacha, there Christ was created to pass through all the elements, ultimately enter into the Sosta, to become a complete Brahmatma. And this was a very difficult thing, was very experimental and the experiment was quite dangerous. It could have failed also because he had in him that human element, the body element, he suffered. And he suffered because this body element suffers, not the spirit. Spirit does not suffer. The body element suffers. So he had to suffer that body element and to get over it, to get out of it <clears throat> and to get out of it, he had to have a tremendous courage. It was such a difficult operation. Without him, nobody could have it. He knew it was predestined. But it was one of the most difficult things to happen. I wonder how many Christians know the significance of an egg. Now, egg signifies a stage where you are before realization. When you are in your egg shell, that you are Mr. X, 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 you are Mrs. Y, all that. But when you mature fully inside, the bird is ready and that is the time you are hatched. This is the time you get twice born. So actually the resurrection of Christ signifies that and that's why we give that egg to people saying, you are an egg, a reminder of that and this egg can become the spirit. And also it is written that it was an egg when he came. First he was created as an egg, half of it remained as Sri Ganesha and half of it became Mahavishnu. Then he came on this earth and he departed with all his elements and the pure vibrations formed his body and he remained there within all of you to be awakened. And when the Kundalini takes your attention through that point, there you also become the spirit. That's why he said, 
that I am the gate, I am the door. He didn't say I am the destination. He said I am the door. Because you cannot become Christ. That's why he didn't say I am the destination that you have to achieve. But he has created this space for you. You can become spiritually awakened. You can become your spirit. But Christ is an incarnation. He was the Son of God. And so He is an incarnation. And that incarnation came on this earth just to pull you out of your elements, to make you become the Spirit. 